Welcome back, everyone. It's good to have you here in the studio. My name is Alex Ryan, and welcome to today's uh, video. Are you paying too much for your sample? So maybe you are in the sampling stage. Maybe you've sort of checked out your product or you know a couple of products that you're interested in and you want to move forward on the sampling stage. So a couple of quick, yes, I get some people saying, Alex, I'm paying a hundred bucks or I'm paying 150 bucks, sometimes a little bit more for a sample. How do you go about reducing that sample down? So we're going to discover that and more in this video. So stay with me. We'll be back in a second. Welcome back guys, it's good to have you here. So, you might be paying a bit in terms of sampling, right? And the reason is the majority uh, of the cost is actually the shipping, right? So you're shipping by DHL, TNT, Toll, uh, FedEx, you know, whatever, whatever westernized shipping company, you are paying the extra cost. It might be 20 bucks for a sample, but 120 or 130 bucks for the actual shipping to Australia or to New Zealand or to wherever you are, right? So. Um, that is usually the bulk of the cost. So you've got two options to bring down the sample cost. First of all, you can use what we call a sample aggregator. All right, so what is a sample aggregator? A sample aggregator is someone that basically, if you want to get three samples, they put all the samples together in one big box for you. So one comes from one part of China, one comes from the other, and one comes from another, different, like three different factories send it all to one place in China. It's nice and cheap. And then they put it in one box and send it over to you in one go. So that reduces the, the cost of the sample down massively. All right, we've actually got people over in China that can help you with this. If you're up to that stage, touch base with us, uh, touch base with me and I'll put you in touch with them, okay? Now, I wanna show you one more thing here. Let me just record my screen here. Okay, we're back, all right. So let me show you one thing here that, um, that basically will enable you to, I'm gonna bring up the, can we bring up this on the big screen, please? Beautiful, all right. So this is the, the Alibaba, the Alibaba, the A to the L to the I to the Baba, dot com, and uh, guys, this is important, especially when you're, you're in the sampling stage, to make sure that you do a couple of searches. This is one way of bringing down your product cost. So let's say, for example, you're just interested in gym towel. I'm just going to use one of the suggestions. Do not get involved in gym towels, all right? <laughs> all right, so let's say, for example, you were interested in um, this particular product, maybe a gym towel. Oh, actually, you know, even better, let's actually go towards... Um, Let's go to this one right here. This looks interesting. Microfiber wholesale sports towel gym with a zip pocket that looks quite nice and trendy. Five buck, one, one buck to five buck. Let's say for example, you were interested in this particular product, right? So what you would do is you would want to find, let's say for example, the sample cost is, you know, five bucks, 10 bucks, I don't know, 20 bucks. They wanted to give you one sample, one product, one sample, right? A couple of quick things you could do. It's something called Google reverse image search. So what you do is you basically go here, and you can, one second guys, I've got an appointment any second right now with a client. Um, you can basically go here and you can take an image of this particular product, right? Because what you're gonna do is you, you, you wanna search this particular product. So I'm just gonna put here Jim Tao, okay? And uh, Tim Tao here, and I'm gonna save it to my desktop. Okay, all right, desktop, boom, Jim Tao, all right. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Google Images, right? So google.com, and I'm going to basically search by image. So I'm gonna upload an image called Jim Tao. Here we go, uh, da, da, da. where is it? Okay, Jim, here we go, Jim Tao. Awesome. And I'm gonna upload this image to our uh, to Google, right? And what it's gonna do is it's gonna use that image and it's gonna try and find multiple other images that look similar to it, right? So you can sort of see down here, this exact same image, it's on Alibaba, Shopee, 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 right? It's on a few other sites as well. Um, there are other suppliers, manufacturer, there's other suppliers that are selling this particular product. So if you wanna get maybe a better price for this exact same product, you can jump on Google, do a reverse image search, that's what it's called, write it down, reverse image search. It will enable you to find other manufacturers selling that exact same product. So guys, uh, take that home, enjoy the tip. I would love to work with you. I've got to jump off the phone. I've got to jump on a call with one of my lucky clients. And guys, I would love to work with you. If you want to find out more about 
building an Amazon business, make sure you check out our videos on YouTube. Make sure you join us at our next live workshop. We run them in Australia. I would love to work with you. I would love to help you list your product on Amazon. My name's Alex Ryan. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye for now. See you later. My name's Alex Ryan. Are you looking to build a business on Amazon? Are you looking for hot products to sell? If you are, let's get this started. The number one factor for success on Amazon comes down to your product. That, that's essentially it. It comes down to your product. If you don't have an awesome product, it's not gonna sell. No matter how good your marketing is, it's just not gonna sell. Never saw anything on one before. Uh, I feel like you know I can um, actually get started to do it. Product ideas? Yeah, I've uh, got many product ideas out of it. Um, Alex has been able to um, show us how to define and redefine what products sell the best. Alex is friendly. He's outgoing. He, you know, he answers everything. He doesn't put you off about anything. Yeah, he's really good. Listen, you've got two choices, right? You either, you either make excuses or you make money. You can't do both, right? You either do one or the other. Now, personally, I would rather make money. I don't know about you, right? But that's something you've got to commit to. Are you ready to make money? Are you committing to success? Are you ready to start your business on Amazon? Are you looking for advice or some training on setting up your Amazon business? Maybe you may think about starting an Amazon business for a while and the number one thing holding you back is you don't know the first steps. Maybe you're looking for product ideas. Maybe you're not too sure how to go about listing it on Amazon. Maybe you don't even know how to go about finding hot products or, or even suppliers on Alibaba, how to find good quality products, good quality suppliers, all right? So we find hot products in the room. We look at suppliers. We actually find suppliers in the room, all right? So make sure you bring a computer. We list products on Amazon in the room. So we actually do the entire thing at the two-day training. It's the first time I've met Alex face-to-face, -face, and he came across as very much the way it is online, uh, very heartwarming. Um, he wants to be there for you. I get that. He's, he's not just a you know, come to my seminars and you'll never see me. No, it's, it's, it's very much, you'll meet me face to face. Whatever I'm telling you online is what I'll be telling you in person. I'd recommend this conference for anyone that's really considering the online environment. One of the things that really impresses is the way that they've taught us not only the sales side, but also how to source the products. And that's why I was attracted to the course in the first place. So anyone that's thinking of selling products online, this course would actually be beneficial.